Hey everyone, it's Kai from Cool Collectibles back again for another review. This time it's the Fans Toys FT03T Quake Wave reissue. For all your Transformer needs, click the link in the description below to head on over to Robot Kingdom. They ship worldwide, so definitely check them out. Alright, so before I jumped on the uh, third party bandwagon, um, I always read so many stories on how uh, amazing Quake Wave was as a third party figure, and uh, I never really thought of, of getting it until Fans Toys announced uh, that they were reissuing. And so they were reissuing uh, three variants with the uh, original FT-03, um, the FT-03T, which is this darker version that I have here, and an FT-03C, uh, I think it is, which is their clear purple version, uh, which is a, a bit strange. Um, I always thought uh, clear plastic was, a, was very brittle. Um, and so there was a, a bit of danger there, but uh, apparently that uh, sold out very quickly. But I guess uh, the reissue, um, I guess I have uh, got a bit of buyer's remorse in getting that, in that um, that was probably a sign that uh, something was a, a bit weird, because um, not long after they announced the reissue, uh, Takara has now officially announced MP29 uh, Laser Wave, or, or their Shock Wave. So, um, and that does to me look uh, much more cartoon accurate. Um, and so I couldn't cancel uh, this particular pre-order, but um, it will definitely make for an interesting comparison when uh, MP29 does come out. Uh, but um, for this particular Fans Toys figure on its own, um, I have to say uh, the build quality of Fans Toys has continued to impress me. I've got uh, Tesla and uh, recently their uh, Grenadier and uh, this Quake Wave, um, I guess in my eyes, is pretty much right up there with the, the best of the MPs in terms of uh, build quality and style. So I'll uh, just quickly go through everything just in case you haven't uh, seen anything before. So it's the usual Fans Toys box style which um, is much smaller than uh, the official Masterpiece figures um, and they did uh, have him sort of semi transformed um, in between modes to, to sort of uh, make him a bit smaller for the boxing. Uh, but it's all foamed up inside which is uh, very nice. Um, and you get a few pictures there. So that's just the box. You do get the collector card, uh, which is in the old sort of MP style, which is uh, not too bad. Um, and it is pretty good quality plastic. Um, so you can probably pause there and have a read if you so wish. Um, and it comes with the instruction booklet, which um, isn't too bad. Um, but uh, I had to resort to uh, transformation videos that I found on YouTube, to be honest. Now, uh, when they f originally released um, Quake Wave, I guess one of the biggest issues um, that you can see on the cover out here from the collectors is that the hose comes over to the front um, of the forearm, which is not cartoon accurate. So if you go to the cartoon, Quake uh, or Shockwave has the insignias, the Decepticon insignias on his forearms, and the hose actually connects to the back. Um, so they've done that so that uh, I've taken it off here. So that's the uh, hose connection, um, and it does on the back of it. So this was the front um, originally, and on the back is the switch for these LED lights. Um, and so what they did um, in the end, um, due to, I guess, fan pressure, was they created alternate forearm pieces that you could swap out um, and uh, essentially put the hose on the rear of the forearm. And I've done that mod. Um, and it was a little bit more fiddly than I was uh, anticipating. So I'm um, taking off the uh, the default forearm is pretty easy. It's just three screws there. Um, and they do give you a bag with uh, some additional screws and the replacement part. Um, so I took that off. Um, now the replacement forearm, if I just uh, zoom in a little bit here. So you can see... Um, it has one, two, three, four, five screws, uh, two bigger ones, um, similar to the default forearm, and these four smaller screws uh, that fit onto this sort of swiveling piece. So essentially you could have it um, facing the front as well, I guess, um, if you wanted, like that, or uh, rotate it around to the rear. Um, now in doing that, because you pretty much had to take out the battery compartment and the LED. There is no more light up feature, but um, I'm okay with that because I hate light up features anyway um, and keeping batteries in figures. So the fact that they've included that is um, pretty good. And to me, it would have been better if they had just 
put that on by default because um, most of the screws were okay but um, particularly the smaller ones um, in trying to minimize um, the gap um, and you can probably see a little bit of a, a gap there um, uh, but yeah trying to get those in um, they are very very tight and you will definitely need um, a decent screw, screwdriver otherwise you're going to strip that and probably um, ru ruin the, uh, the forearm piece so uh, definitely uh, be prepared with a decent screwdriver and use appropriate force to at least try and get um, these screws um, f at least flush with um, the, the, the purple plastic. Um, so you pretty much have to disassemble it and disassemble this uh, clear plastic piece as well which um, has a little screw at the bottom there so you have to disassemble that and carefully take apart the uh, LED lights and wires and so on so um, you don't uh, break this or anything like that so this is still functioning um, but uh, you just have to be a bit careful um, in how you do it um, but overall other than that the figure itself is uh, pretty damn awesome I mean if if Takara had released this as um, as their official MP, um, I probably wouldn't be any the wiser. Um, the the build quality is uh, pretty damn outstanding. Um, it has a good weight to it. Um, there's a lot of die cast at the bottom here. His feet and uh, these pieces on the side that uh, form the hilt of the uh, the gun is all die cast. So there's a nice weight to it, and um, he is balanced uh, because of that. Um, and the other thing that I like about the figure um, that uh, most MPs, or I don't think any of the MPs have, are um, articulated fingers. Um, the MPs normally have uh, these three fingers um, stuck together and uh, potentially a, a, a point, the index finger pointing, and then the thumb. Uh, with most of them, actually, these fingers all stuck together. So the fact that uh, fans toys here have individually articulated fingers um, is pretty damn awesome. Um, and so you can get a lot more of uh, expressive uh, poses, if you will, um, with, with that option. And I do like, um, some people I heard uh, don't like this clear plastic, but um, I really think it uh, sets the figure off. Um, so I'd like that they've got the clear plastic there, the clear in the, the chest piece, and of course uh, the, the, the gun here. And I guess, um, I wasn't sh I can't remember if it was um, a bit tighter on the default, um, but you can sort of move this piece to the side. And for mine, um, it tends to get a bit loose. Um, so as you move around, it'll, it'll sort of come loose and, and fall down. But um, uh, that's, yeah, so as you can see there, it's sort of falling down a little bit. So you just need to sort of futz around with it and make sure it doesn't do that when you're posing it up. But other than that, um, I've probably only got one more issue, and that is with this new segmented hose. Uh, the original hose is the uh, the smooth style um, and where it sort of connects to the backpack here um, was a much uh, nicer finish on the original release but as you can see on this one um, I originally thought that uh, the the hose was actually coming out but uh, a few other collectors showed me their photos of um, uh, their new Quake Wave reissues and it pretty much looks like that where this sort of thicker piece doesn't actually uh, fit flush or um, embedded in there. It's this uh, little piece there um, Which uh, I'm not sure if that's uh, gonna hold up over time or not, but um, I guess we'll just have to see but uh, other than that the figure is pretty damn uh, Incredible um, Everything is nice and smooth tight uh, There's ratchets and uh, the, I guess the the friction joints are, are pretty nice as well um, and you get these double elbows uh, that uh, double jointed elbows that really give that sort of nice pose um, so I think you can get him into that uh, saluting pose and uh, a whole bunch of other stuff so um, this one the 3T is the darker purple um, and for me um, if I had the choice again I probably would have gone with the standard release which is uh, probably more cartoon accurate now I got this because there was a bit of confusion on my part um, and I even thought Fans Toys their official uh, Facebook page said it as well um, so I'll probably need to go back and double check, but I always thought that um, the FT-03T was made darker to be cartoon accurate. Which, when you think about it, doesn't really make sense because the original G1 toy was darker, and so the T is really uh, meant to, to be um, for toy. Which I think is consistent with some of their other repaints and so on. So um, I think the, uh, the lighter purple is probably a bit better. 
um, but it will be definitely interesting to get uh, MP29 um, and that sort of uh, cartoon accurate colorway um, and compare it to this one. So I'll probably leave that one in bot mode and have this one transformed into um, his gun mode. Um, but everything else, um, I love the, the ratchets on the knees. Um, the ankle rocking action here is uh, very nice and sturdy. So everything um, just feels quality. Uh, I love the uh, the ratchets in the hips there. Much nicer than uh, MP Soundwave, I, I have to say. Um, MP Soundwave, uh, I always think that I'm going to snap those damn legs off every time I try and pose his, um, his hips. Uh, but this Quake Wave is... Uh, Silky smooth um, going outwards and uh, on a nice ratchet joint um, in and out, so uh, just can't complain about that. Um, nice uh, hip rotation there. You probably just have to be a bit careful of um, paint rub on the top here um, as you rotate, but um, other than that, um, no major issues. And of course the arms, you just need to be a bit careful on how you stress this hose. Um, but with um, the friction joint here, um, and the double jointed elbows and so on, and the articulated fingers, you can get um, some pretty damn awesome poses. Um, so that's pretty much it. Um, I think the backpack probably looks nicer, in, in my opinion, than the um, uh, MP9 photos, uh, MP29 photos. I think with MP29, you can have like two options with the backpack. There was one version that looks grey, and another version that's purple. Um, so there is a bit of parts forming on, on both uh, figures. Uh, but this one just looks a little bit more compact. Um, but uh, there are some photos that look pretty good of the uh, the MP29 as well. So we'll just have to see when we get that in hand. Um, I think it's early next year. So um, I'll just uh, quickly do, do a transformation of this into his, his gun mode and uh, give you guys a quick look at that and uh, finish up the review. All right, so here is the alt mode. And i got to say, um, for the first time I've uh, looked at this, it is pretty damn sensational. I do like um, that they've got the uh, this uh, uh, movable piece here. So I guess um, I tried to have it uh, without the screws showing on the outside, um, so facing inwards. Uh, but I guess it sort of wrapped the uh, the cable around uh, too far. Um, and I guess this is more uh, accurate to the cartoon, I guess. Um, but it does show the the screws on the outside. And I did look at the uh, the teaser pics for MP29, and they also have. Uh, the screws facing on the outside, but uh, they also have the Decepticon insignia there to, um, I guess, uh, try and hide that. Uh, but overall, um, it is a friggin' awesome uh, third-party figure. Um, the transformation wasn't overly complex, um, unlike some of the uh, the MPs, and I never thought I was going to break anything, um, and it wasn't overly delicate, so um, I do like the transformation. Um, and I do like how um, sturdy everything felt um, as I was doing it. So um, the only issue I probably have that I was worried about was um, these this whole sort of leg section being pulled in and out. Um, over time, I'm not sure how loose that's going to get. Um, I'm not one to, to transform my, my figures too much. Um, so um, I guess that's not too big of an issue for me. Um, the other thing I like with the MP29 is that it's got a little backpack and stand. And so you can have the... Uh, the, the gun sitting there on display like that um, and because I'm going to have this in gun mode I might have to steal that and see if I can just uh, use it to, to pose this guy um, but everything else is just awesome if they were to just slap some official uh, decals for the Decepticon insignias and call it an MP um, I probably wouldn't uh, have uh, questioned that at all so I um, definitely understand why um, so many collectors uh, love this figure when uh, when it came out and uh, I guess if it wasn't for um, MP29 coming out, um, I would probably be uh, really, really happy that I've got this as well. So um, hopefully you like that quick look at this uh, darker repaint version. I'm not sure when um, the clear version's coming out or, or if it has, um, or even if the, uh, the regular purple ones come out actually. Um, but uh, click through uh, the link in the description and uh, you'll head over to, to Robot Kingdom and uh, just check out their listings there to see if um, it's all uh, available for pre-order. So, um, yeah, hopefully you, like, you guys like that quick look. Um, hopefully you can subscribe because I've got a whole bunch of reviews uh, still to come. Um, I still have uh, the Hot Toys uh, First Order Squad Leader um, that uh, just came today. I was expecting him later in the week, but he did come today. Um, so I might have to uh, get onto that quickly. Um, and I still have a whole bunch of other stuff uh, coming as well. So um, hopefully you can stick around and stay tuned for all that. Thanks again, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Cheers. Bye.